Okay, so today we're going to be learning about um, picking up a compact. So what you want to do is check out your surroundings where you'll be working because you don't want to hurt anyone, hurt yourself, break anything, tear up anything, mess up anything. So you want to check out your surroundings before you start working to see what you have to deal with. So I'm going to show you, I'm picking up another compactor today. So I want to show you what I'm working with. So stay tuned. So as I pull up towards my compactor, I see that it's surrounded by different trailers. The object of the game is to back up to the compactor without hitting anything and to load that compactor safely. So as you can see here, I want to align the back of my truck to the yellow legs in front of the dumpster. I'm raising a tilt frame and backing up to the container to load it on the truck. placing my cable on the container and I'm going to take the ratchets off the back of the can and you guessed it I placed them straight out to make it so much easier to line up with the guide tracks on the ground for the can to slide back and hook up properly So far I've placed tension on my cable and I'm getting ready to pull the container away from the unit in the back. Don't be alarmed, it's gonna make a mess. It always does. And so now I'm going to apply my tarp. When I hang my tarp, I leave just enough of it to pull underneath the bottom of the dumpster to secure my load. So as you can see, I'm running my chain underneath the bar of my tarp to secure it tightly. Then I'll run my bungee cord back up to the top of the container to secure it. Here I'm showing you that my chain and bungee cord on the left and right are secure. Now it's time to load the dumpster onto the truck. Whenever I get the container just above the fender of the truck, I start to let my tilt frame down to catch the bottom of the container to secure it to keep on pulling it up. And so the mess on this one is not so bad. When I come back, I'll take this and throw it in the back of the empty dumpster when I return. Unfortunately, today I don't have a switch out dumpster like I had in the last video. But when I come back, it's a easy breeze just to pick this up and throw it inside the empty dumpster. Always make sure to apply your safety straps. And 
So that's how you load up a compact when you don't have a switch out dumpster. So head into the dump for this one and then I'll return it. And then I'll just move on to the next stop. Well, I dumped my load at the landfill. I'm showing you here that I have the dumpster sitting in between the ratchets that I have sticking out in the back. I've also cleaned up the mess, pushed the dumpster back. I'm hooking my ratchets. Removing my cable. So far, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.